testing some new roads today and road right here on Summit Main on the Lucky Strike property out here in Nittinat, BC. We've come across this area that's been taken out for the building of this logging road years ago it looks like and this whole area from about there all the way over to there is extremely oxidized all the rocks look like they have very high iron content so we're just going to pop in there and take a quick look so i just pulled this chunk off here and you can see disseminated iron pyrite all throughout there here's a better view of it broken open decent amount of iron sulfides a couple more pieces from different areas of the outcrop our sample good to go not too far down the road or up the road we came across this intense oxidation all over the place And the rocks have patches of iron pyrite all throughout them. As you can see, more disseminated iron pyrite. About three areas now. Total of about 100 meters wide. Where you have very oxidized bedrock. Disseminated iron pyrite. The amount of disseminated pyrite and oxidized rocks around here is insane. We've probably covered about 300 meters now of, of outcrop similar to this with all disseminated iron pyrite. Six hundred meters farther. And we're still seeing rocks like this. Insanely oxidized, deteriorated, almost gossiness in some areas. And as you can see, more iron pyrite. And here we have more. There's lots of areas like this too. Right here you have iron pyrite. We're kind of at the top of the mountain now, so we're going to turn around and that, that'll be it. Not seeing too much up here. Rock type changes about a, a kilometer down the road. So you have the whole middle section of the, the mountain which appears to be mineralized from what we can tell.